Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. Um, this is a let's make a card video. Uh, we are going to put together one of these cards here. It's an accordion card. Uh, it uses a couple of the card bases and toppers and embellishments out of... Uh, this one is actually the Heirloom Lace Collection. Uh, the one we're going to do today is out of the China cabinet. So, um, let's see. This one here is the Anna Griffin finish, Finishing School Craft Box Heirloom Lace Collection. Um, on it, there's also a couple of items that are out of the Anna Griffin Mini Birthday Sticker and Sentiment uh, set here as well. And uh, let me just kind of give you an overview of what the card is. Um, basically, it uses a card base and a mat layer uh, for the top and the bottom. Uh, you embellish it all up. You make a couple of hanging pieces with a couple pieces of cardstock. This is the accordion part of it. And a little dangle for the center. And a little um, loop for the top. And you have this super fun um, interactive card that you mail in a, a box envelope. Um, or, you know, hand deliver in a box envelope. It's super fun. It actually squishes down to about one inch. You'd have to put it in about a one inch. Um, uh, that's what the top looks like. Um, this, this super fun, uh, card. Um, that's what the top looks like. This is what the sides look like. Right there. Um, this is the back of the center hanging piece. And then we can do the front. That's the front. So it says, uh, happy birthday. And then with all the best wishes. Isn't that just pretty? And then, um, then the bottom, uh, looks like that. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you a better look at that. Uh, it looks like that. Um, so these are a bunch of the die cuts and then the, um, not die cuts. These are a bunch of the, um, embellishments that came in the kit this little cupcake um the cupcake on the back and then the birthday sentiments are out of that um the birthday sentiment collection and then the rest of it is all out of like this is the dye that was in the heirloom lace these are all the flowers that were and the butterfly is out of the heirloom lace collection um then i added some anna griffin bows um stacked it all up and the fun thing about it is all the little jewels are actually strategically placed uh, to help balance out and uh, make it uh, hang really nice. And so it just makes for a really fun card, uh, somebody to get, and it just makes it super special. Isn't that just great? Uh, they pull it out, it twirls around like that, and is just really beautiful and uh, super fun. Um, so I wanted to use the china cabinet uh, to make another one of these. I've about used up almost this entire, um, heirloom lace collection. I'm going to have to get another one, uh, to get all the papers and everything again. <laughs> and so I got this hanging on my thread holder, um, uh, to be able to kind of display and, uh, to show you on. And, uh, yeah, it is really, really stinking fun and, uh, just a great card. So I thought, Hey, let's make one together. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need, uh, two, uh, card bases, uh, two mat layers. Um, and this is going to go on the bottom of here. Uh, you'll need, uh, something for the center. I picked out a couple of sentiments and then these little uh, pieces were part of the china cabinet kit and so um, when you're doing the center you want to make sure that they match exactly so when you're looking at it like this oh where are you guys when you're when you're looking at it dangling like this you don't see too much jankiness off the back side of it but that it looks uh, the same from either direction and so that's what I've uh, done with these pieces here I'm using this as my base embellishing it with the uh, sentiment and then that's what's going to dangle in the center um and so let's see uh you need um so yeah two card bases whoops uh two mat layers uh stuff to embellish the top 
um, this the uh, center dangle piece. And then the other thing you need is you need two strips of two inch by 11 inch pieces of cardstock. You could even use 12 would be ideal, but I just use a regular sheet of cardstock. Um, this is in white. And uh, I also ran it through a large embossing folder just to add a little bit more fun and some texture to it. And then on this strip, you're going to want to score on the 11 inch side every two inches. And you're going to end up with a one inch piece down at the bottom, but that's okay because that's going to be at the bottom. And the top section and the bottom section is actually what uh, connects to the card bases and then gives you your accordion. Uh, so your accordion hanging like so. Uh, so two of these, um, pre preferably if you can emboss them to add a little bit more, but you don't need to. You need embellishments for each of the different squares, and I have those already set out right here. Uh, and then you need the bottom card base. So this is going to be my bottom uh, decorative piece. Uh, I've chosen the same uh, top card, but the bottom... So on the bottom one, you could either leave it just use a card base and the reason i'm using the card bases is because these are really sturdy and when you glue them together it makes them super stiff um otherwise you can use a couple pieces of whether five and a half by five and a half square pieces or six by six square pieces of cardstock uh glued together you know some really heavyweight stuff you could do that um, but in this case i wanted to use a china cabinet and so i thought hey we might as well use the card bases it makes us super um, solid uh, base in a topper piece so you could leave it like this um, so that way on the bottom of it you could actually leave the handmade by put your name and then put your uh, greeting if you wanted to write something to somebody you could actually put it on the bottom of the card I'm not going to do that I don't usually sign my stuff so um, I'm going to actually put a layering piece on the bottom of it and uh, make it decorative and nice. So that's what I'm using for the bottom. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need one piece of six inch ribbon and then one piece of 10 inch ribbon. Uh, sheer, really nice sturdy sheer ribbon is good uh, because when you go to look at the lines when we go to score tape this down, um, you can see through it and you'll see where your marks are. It's much easier to do it. With. Or you, you can even just guess, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But anyhow, uh, that's why I use the sheer stuff in the center. But then it also has this pretty little iridescence about it. So that's pretty fun. And I got this from uh, Michael's on a probably a clearance sale. So um, there we go there. So that's all you need. So first thing you want to do is uh, you want to get your. Uh, let's see. You need your uh, a hole punch, a, a deep hole punch, because what we're going to need to do is punch a couple of holes in the center of our topper. And uh, so what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to um, find center of this. Um, oh, wait, we actually want to decorate it. I actually want to put the embellishments on mine because I'll need to put the um, put the hole through this as well. So hang on one second and let me glue all this to the center of mine and then we'll pop the hole in it. Okay, one sec. Okay, there we go. I got mine all uh, done up here. So on the back side, I'm actually going to measure out um, the... I'm going to find middle of the back of my card actually and uh let's see let's see we're gonna go since this is five and a half a five and a half inch card base we're gonna go two and three quarters and we're gonna i need a pencil um, let's see here we're gonna go uh two and three quarters um ooh, about two and three quarters I don't know if I should have, because this is, actually, let's just do it on the bottom of this one. Uh, since it's going to be glued together, it's going to have to be in the center of, oh no, I'm not doing this one though. This one's not getting a hole punched in it, that one is. So yeah, you have to do it on the inside. Sorry guys. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And you can always use embellishments to counterbalance if it's not straight. Uh, just 
add a little more, a few more doodads to the side that's not hanging straight, you know? Oops. And then hopefully you guys are, yeah, super simple. So just, you know, kind of go, and then all you're going to do is just make a little cross-reference point. You're just going to line up all your um, dashes here. And then you're going to line up all your dashes here. And then you're just going to punch a hole right there. That's pretty much center there, guys. And I'm going to try to miss. And I'm going to use my big, um, there's a 3 16 or another size. And I'm going to use my 3 16 inch one. And when you're doing this, you want to try to get it centered up as as much as possible. Even for all of that. <laughs> and hopefully. Alright. Well now we know how uncentered our embellishments are. <laughs> oh that's thinking funny. Oh that is funny. <laughs> uh, we can add a few flowers to the top though. So no big deal. <laughs> and then what we want to do is. Uh, you kind of want to pick what is going to go forward um, and then put your loop in that orientation. Uh, let's see. I think maybe this looks less crooked or less not centered if I go this way. So I think I'm going to turn my loop and have my loop facing and the fold facing me. Um, I don't I don't know as if it matters all that much, but when it hangs and it does all of its turning and stuff... You don't want to be looking at like the arm, uh, like on that one. You want to be looking at the, the centered dangling piece. Um, so I'm going to make my front edge, you know, with the ribbon, hopefully facing me, hopefully. <laughs> and then, uh, so then all you're going to do on this part is you want to um, just bring the ribbon all the way back through and then uh, tape it down. Uh, leave about an inch on the top um, uh, to where it's, you know, even. I, that looks like about an inch. And then you're just going to use some score tape, tape this down, and then glue. Then you're just going to glue the two pieces together. And so I'm just going to use a half inch, a half inch piece of score tape on this. Um, to hold that down and then it will seal it there and then uh, I'm just going to pop some glue well actually I think I'll just use go ahead and use some score tape oh did I oh yeah yeah okay so <laughs> okay there's my fold <laughs> I was like oh no And you want to make sure to adhere this really well. Uh, so probably some score tape and glue would be ideal. Uh, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to uh, do a score tape. And as close to the edge as I can. Uh, let's see. I uh, probably want a little piece right there. Just to be sure. And then um, I'm just going to peel this off and then... Pop that over there. And then fold that tape back over. There we go. Ooh, that's some sticky stuff. Yeehaw. Okay, and now...
Hey, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Where's my... I think I think it's going to hang... I think it's going to hang like that. So let's go ahead and... Um, what you want to do now is you want to take this piece here. You want to find center on that again. Because you're going to need a hole in this. So... Let's see, um, two and three quarters should, should be half of, um, five and a half. Um, and you want to mark your lines on the side that, um, you're gluing down. So, so that way you don't have, you know, lines on your pretty side. Uh, that's ish. And line up there. Ish. Good enough. Uh, we'll pop a hole in that. Uh, right in the center. Hopefully. Hopefully it's in the center. That looks pretty good. Although my line looks crooked. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see how that pans out. Hmm. Boy, that looks off. I don't think I was as accurate as I should have been. Oops. Let's see. Let's see. Well, the hole is at two and three quarters. And so I guess it's just the lines giving you that kind of funky because I didn't draw them properly. I think we're probably still pretty good because that is actually the center of the card. So cool. All right, we're just going to wing it. So now what you want to do is you want to take your six inch piece of ribbon. This is the hanger for the middle section. And you just want to, um, let's see. You want to go about an inch to the inside. Um, and you want to score tape this down on the inside. Let's see. And the nice thing about score tape is it's actually see-through. So pop this through the hole. And then the flat side is where your... Um, the flat side is, is what is where your embellishment is going to hang off of. So you want to try to make sure that that is as straight as possible. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good right there. So I think we're going to go there and then we're going to, Pop some more score tape on this. And that needs to go front to back as well. Whoops. Alright, good thing we can just... Um, uh, put this wherever we need it. All right. Oh, then we probably ought to put a couple pieces in the center. I probably should have done that on the other one, but I didn't. All right. These cards are so beautiful, and they have such a wow effect uh, when the people get them. Oh, they just love them. They're just fun and, you know, interactive and, you know, just with the whole pulling them out of the box and whatnot. They're just super fun. Um. They take it a little bit longer to put together, but it is well worth it, especially for that, you know, special person. You know, family, moms, sisters. You could probably make one for your brother. You know, maybe a little bit more like, you know, masculine, but they would still think one was cool. I think the, uh, actually the, um, Oh, celebration one would be a really cool one that you could do this with. 
So now, where do I want? I wanted this to go forward. So I think I'm going to do this. Now, where's my fold? There's my fold. Now I'm going to try to line this up as straight as possible. Oh, no. Perfect, Nukin. Don't do that yet. You actually have to put these on. Okay, and then the fat one goes up on the top. And you want to mark an inch. Because you want these to be center. So, oh, no, you have to, but you have to do it on the top of it. Whoops. So mark, mark the inch, like, close to the edge, though. And let's do it on the other one. There. And then, then you're going to line that line up with your... with this line here. I forgot that's what those lines are for too. So hopefully we're good to go on these. Is that? Yeah, two and three quarters. And two and three quarters. Okay, and so since I want this to be my front, I'm going to put my two uh, accordion hangers off of each side. So I'm going to take and I'm going to line that. Oh, but we need a couple more pieces of score tape there because you want it to be about the same thickness as that so it holds really good, you know? It's going to have the weight on it. Oops. No, no. There. I think that's wide enough. Okay, one more. One more piece. So about three pieces tall should do the trick. Okay, now get these babies. And then I like to like, like crease them like that, line up, oh no. Yeah, really good. And then fold it around the edge and then burnish it down. And the reason to do that is to make sure that when you go to fold the card up, it's actually going to go, you know, be able to go around it to to hold it down like that. You know what I mean? You can hold it down like that. So let's do the other one. So the fat ones are on the top. Line it up. Whoops. Line it up on your um, pencil mark. Kind of alligatoring it over the line there. Making making sure that it's going to fold. Push it all the way to the edge. And then that looks pretty good. Okay, now... Oh, I bet we should put some score tape on there. Some score tape on there. How about a little more there? And maybe just a little bit there. <laughs> Let's be sure. <laughs> There. Now I think we got it. <laughs> oh, wait, one more thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wait, I forgot a step. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, now I'd hear the top down. Uh, try to center it up as much as possible. Because this is like the first thing they're going to see out of the box. Yeah, there we go. And then burnish it, press it down really good. All right, now is where you want to take the opportunity as well to see how everybody is doing hanging-wise. Okay, so we're going to have to put a few embellishments. I was waiting on the top anyways, so that way after we're all done with it, um, we can put the embellishments where we need to to make it hang uh, straight. That's the nice thing about waiting a little bit till the end okay so now i just need to pop um i need to put these guys together so give me a second i'm gonna glue all these down and then we'll i'll show you how to put it on to uh the string in the center so one sec okay here we go so i've got them both um you know done up and all 
And what you want to do is make sure, you know, you got them uh, right side to right side, you know, um, like so. And these aren't perfectly even, but the little bit that you do see isn't that big of a deal. Oh, I should have made sure that when I was doing it, though, you, you oh, um, you do want to make sure, though, that when you're doing it, um, okay, cool, that'll work, I'm pretty sure, I can always change it after, okay, but let's, uh, pop some glue on here, and then, uh, make sure your sentiment is in the proper orientation, so thinking of you, we're going like this, and we're just going to run that to the bottom, whoa, to the bottom of the, let's see, yeah, we're, we're right there, so is that, that's straight, hopefully that'll go, it looks a little crooked. Hopefully it'll be all right though. Let's see, where is our thinking of you? So we're gonna go this same. Yeah, we're gonna go just like this. I'm gonna make it make sure that it's the same. See, and these aren't identical at all, so you're kind of just guessing, really. Making it shimmy on there to the best, whatever looks the nicest, you know what I mean? Okay, so that one is actually straight. So we're going to twist this one a little. And make it straight as well. This little flower was bothering me too anyway, so. I guess that's going to live there. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's bothering you. <laughs> let's let's see what that looks like. All right, we're getting it. Look, isn't that the prettiest? Oh wait, where are you? Look at how cool that is. And then we'll flip it around. There we go. Isn't that great? Okay, so now what we want to do is, um, we want to embellish our little uh, octopus legs here and go ahead and pop all of our little flowers on there um but this will just take a second i'll go ahead and glue them down and i'll show you what they, that looks like okay so there we have it there's uh that leg there and then there's that leg there and then it's gonna hang uh like that but down a little bit more <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, isn't that going to be the funnest thing? Okay, so now what we want to do here is we have our little legs that we have to attach to our base. Uh, let's see. Uh, and what we want to do is... Oh, <laughs> so actually what I want to do is I want to layer this up really quick as well. And then we're going to draw some lines on the bottom of the base and on uh, this as well. And glue it like we did the top and then pop the bottom on and then we're done. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, put all this stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the bottom all decorated up. Okay, and then now all we have to do is we just have to mark the bottom. Uh, actually, we can actually glue this piece together mar and mark them on the bottom of this. Um, since we're putting a decorative panel, panel on it. So let's go ahead and um, glue this all together. Alright. Press that all down really good. Make sure the card is pretty square. Uh, like a so. All right, and then, let's see. Okay, and now, since this is the front, we want to go two and three quarters on each each side. And that is 
where we're going to put um, our, oh, actually, and they want to, you want to be up about an inch, because that's what these are. Wait, two and three quarters. Oh, so is this right? So let's see, two and three quarters. Right about there. Okay, so now we're going to mark an inch. Let's see, and this is going to go like this. So let's mark an inch on the bottom here of each of these because that's our center line, and then that'll put a center onto the base. Okay, and then we're going to put glue on this side. Okay, make sure that we're... Ah! Uh, proper orientation. Yeah, we should be... Yeah, we should be like this. So flip it over. So this goes here. And then we need to line up... Oh, man. I didn't go out far enough. But I'm going to eyeball it. Okay, so like that. And then make sure it folds, you know, over the edge. And it's pushed all the way up. And we're going to put a lot of glue on that. On the bottom when we go to adhere the other side. So yeah, oh good, we, we're up far enough there. So let's put some glue on the back side. So on the inside of the strip. Okay. Uh, line up our tour. Make sure it folds over the edge. It's bumped all the way up. And press. We could even hold it up like this and press it down as well. Look at that. Isn't it coming together? That looks pretty cool. Okay, now... All right, and now all we have to do is adhere the base. And there's no orientation on this, so it's just decorative, so we can pop that on the bottom. Let's see, center it up. Make sure it's all square. It looks nice. Press it down a little. Not too much, though, because you don't want to ruin your embellishments. And then we'll flip it over. And then we'll press it down from the top. Okay, and then this is where, if it hangs crooked, that you can pop other embellishments. Like, add a bow somewhere strategically to make it hang centered-wise. And, or gems, because that's what I did on, on that one there. Uh, like, there's a giant gem there, and it was to help it to hang uh, relatively straight. So, that way, when you looked at it, it was... And, actually, we're pretty good on this one. We're actually pretty decent. Um, so, in reality, I have to ask myself, since it hangs pretty straight, but the top is quite boring now. I need, I need some flowers there. Um... Hang on one sec. Let's grab some flowers because that is pretty boring. We'll just add a couple and hope for the best, I guess, for it hanging there. Um, it just needs a little bit of something. You know, just a couple of something. Oh, that's a little one. Oh, we could do some little roses. Oh, let's do some little roses. Hopefully I got another one. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's see, does that... Oh, and it hangs great. It hangs great. Look. Look. Okay, wait. That's... Oh, 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 they moved. Okay, hold on. Let's grab these. So, yeah, so we don't need anything else unless we want it. Yeah, isn't this so pretty? Isn't that just gorgeous? 
Oh my heavens, this is so fun. Okay, let's see. Look at it! Oh, isn't that terrific? Okay, so now we'll kind of press those down. Okay, so there is a good look at the top. And then here is a super fun look at, at the side there. I don't know if I can get back out enough for you to see that's what the side looks like. Isn't that just so pretty, especially with the top? Um, I, I think these are just so, so pretty. And then, um, like that, that's actually technically, technically the back because of where the, um, sentiment is. And then this is actually the front of it, uh, like that. Oops. And then let's see if you can, I don't know if I can get the lighting to go, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's any better or not, but that's. That's what the sentiment looks like. And then and then if you're looking up at it, that's what the top looks like. How fun is that, right? I mean, these cards are just so, so pretty and so fun. If, if you've never made one, they're actually quite easy, especially with these um, finishing school craft boxes. They come with all these gorgeous dies. You can do a lot of foiling. They come with all the like floral embellishments. This was actually a wreath that was included in the flower embellishments. Um, the card bases, the mat layers, you just need a couple pieces of cardstock out of your stash and then, and some ribbon and everything else is just, um, so generously included in the kit. It's actually, I mean, look how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? These are die cuts, flowers, that uh, circle layering piece was included in the kit, more flowers, another die cut with the that matte gold, and then a sentiment out of the kit. I mean, just lovely. And then, and then look at this, just absolutely a showstopper of a card. Isn't that just super fun? Yeah, I think these are just terrific. And look at the side, even when it dangles on the side. Now, I could have added, like, um, you know, some gold accents or something like that. But um, I was trying to, you know, make this go pretty quick. And I thought with all the gold on it, it was actually pretty fun. But so there's this one that we just made. And then I think, I don't know which one I like the best. Oh, my heavens, they're both so beautiful. Um, let me put the top, the pen back in my glue. And then, um, and then that's the other one. Isn't that just gorgeous? It is so pretty. And then that's what the side, see, I could have done, you know, like the little medallion with the floral pieces like this. And then the little, you know, a few extras, but, um, yeah, isn't that just so pretty? I just, I just love these. And then look at the base that base layer here let me see if I can pull it in closer the bottom isn't that just beautiful with the cupcake that's out of the birthday uh sentiment pack isn't that just super fun and then that's the yeah so so pretty look isn't that just pretty oh my heavens just gorgeous and those this was all in the um this is the heirloom lace kit um the bows weren't included but um, for the most part, all all these were included in the heirloom lace except the cupcake. Um, the die cut, all these ephemera pieces down at the bottom except that were all from the kit. The matte gold was, a, that's the die out of the kit. These are from the die out of the kit. I cut those out with the die. And then um, so just an Anna Griffin bow, these couple of pieces out of the birthday, and then some gems and a couple pieces of cardstock. And um, I made this one the same way. So, yeah. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the cards down in the comments below. Let me know if you've made it before and uh, what you think of this project. Thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.